All right, so welcome back. Uh, all the epoxy is cured. Um, and I just wanted to show what the nose cone looks like on the inside. You can see we have a good bit of epoxy around those weights. That eye bolt is in there nice. So the final weight of the nose cone came in at 17.4 ounces, which I'm very happy with. The next step is preparing uh, the shock cord. I've gone ahead and tied it to the engine tube per the instructions. So I've done a slip knot and I went ahead and put some glue around the frayed edges, just like the instructions mentioned. Um, I have mine lined up where it's gonna come through the front part of the motor tube. So we're now going to install the forward centering ring. And to do this, uh, we're gonna feed our shock cord. And I'm, yeah, so you just wanna feed your shock cord the centering ring this will just be glued into place um, because of the closest to the camera I'm gonna go ahead and just do this offline uh, just making a note that for this I am just going to use some tight bond 3 wood glue so the forward centering ring is now installed and I've put a nice uh, big glue fillet around the body tube and the motor mount tube so our next step is to attach the swivel to our shock cord and also the um, parachute protector. All right, so we're now gonna take our swivel and I've made a mark about a third of the way down the shock cord and we're going to feed the swivel through our shock cord and bring it up to that one third mark. And now we're gonna make an overhand knot over this all right and that's all we need that'll hold our swivel in place and we'll connect um, our parachute to that And now we're going to attach our parachute bag, our parachute protector. We want to attach this close to the body tube. So let's get our protector out of the bag. And we want this eyelet right here. So we'll go ahead and we're gonna run this through. I'm gonna raise the camera up. All right, that's better. Get the camera raised a little bit. So we want to make, we want to loop the shock cord uh, back through our parachute protector. So I'm grabbing all the shock cord. I just want to get to the swivel here. I'm using the swivel to, to push it through. And then we're just going to pull all of it back through. And I'm going to do one more uh, tie. I'm going to pull the, the shock cord through one more time, making just a simple, simple knot here. All right, so next we're going to attach this to our nose cone. All right, so they're suggesting to do a triple knot, and they, I prefer slip knots, but because of the angle here, I'm just going to go ahead and do a triple. All right, so we have a triple knot right there, and we're going to put some glue on our knot and on the frayed end of the shock cord. And we're going to put some on the end of the shock cord, this frayed end right here. And we're just gonna rub this in. 
All right, and one thing I like to do, which I'll do uh, after this glue has dried, I'm going to take some tape and I'm going to tape this tail. I call it the tail. Uh, I'm going to tape this tail to the shock cord just so it's secure and not sticking out. Just a personal preference. All right, let's get a final update on what I've done with the Bullet Bobby XXL. Um, it is actually, the build part is actually finished and we're ready for paint. So uh, since the last, uh, we had finished, we were finishing the recovery system. Um, so uh, let's look here in the nose cone first. I've taped up my shock cord and made that real nice and clean looking. So that's done. And then uh, I took the parachute out, which is a big parachute. It's a 45 inch parachute. Um, I went ahead and I knotted the end of the shroud lines and I've attached a quick link to it. I really love these quick links. Use them if you're not. So whenever we fly this, we're gonna take our quick link and we'll attach it to our swivel. And then that's how our parachute will now attach to our shock cord. So when we're packing the nose cone, uh, of course it'll be a better job than this, but we'll basically be taking our parachute, we'll be putting it into our parachute protector, and we'll be put, putting this into our rocket like this, and adding all our shock cord and so forth, and then put our nose cone on top, and we'll be ready to fly. Now, I will say, I've put a lot of tape on this nose cone, as you can see. Um, the nose cone fits quite loose in this body tube. Um, I don't know if that's they're always like that or just my specific, specific uh, kit, but I have added several wraps of tape on here. It's still pretty loose. I will be adding more tape before flight, uh, but it's getting there. Uh, I've also put some fillets on the aft centering ring, uh, I used a white glue for this. And so I put fillets along the body tube and then along the fin slots. So that's nice. And then I've added fillets onto the fins. I didn't video any of this because it's pretty standard stuff. Um, I do the, uh, the technique where I just put uh, tape along it and then add the fillets and then smooth them out, sand them out. So they came out pretty nice. I think it'll look good once it's painted. Um, I'd also used uh, Tight Bond 3 for the fillets. So uh, I jotted down uh, some weights. The nose cone, uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, came in at 17.4 ounces. The dry weight of everything here, including the parachute, all the hardware and everything, Everything without the engine and without the paint, I'm coming in at 13.8, three pounds, 13.8 ounces. So I've run a few open rocket sims uh, with a couple of engines. Um, I put in the mass override and the nose cone weight accordingly. Um, I'm getting a good stability rating, 1.03. So the two engines I'm looking at flying, um, uh, first is this H242, uh, it's Blue Thunder. According to the Sims, the 242 is going to give me a, a altitude of about 830 feet. So that's not bad. Uh, I'm also looking at this uh, H283 Super Thunder. Um, which is given a altitude of about 677 feet. So it'll be fun to see uh, how close I get to these. Um, but all I care about is it, the rocket is stable. So hopefully we'll have some good flights, some good excitement coming out of it. Um, uh, as of right now, the build is pretty much done. Um, so uh, once I get this painted and decaled, I'll come back and show some pictures of that. Thanks for joining me on this build. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. 
and clear skies.